Good evening, everyone. Happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with Jazby's 4-Box 17, 18, 19, 20 basketball mixer featuring product from all of those years right there. This is random team number two. It includes these boxes right here. It's a 30-spot break. At the end of the break, just like break credit, at the end of the break, we're going to re-randomize your names. The name on top is going to win a spot in the $400 mixer. Pretty nice, right? Our triple-double mixer right here, which is getting closer and closer to filling. It's going to be a nice one. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. All 30 basketball teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Two and a three, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, we got Daniel down to Daniel. Two and a three, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Good luck. After five times, we got the ATL, the Atlanta Hawks, down to the Miami Heat. We had a, uh, our shop is now open, folks. 1402 Pacific Coast Highway, Hermosa Beach, California, 14th and Pier. We had a, uh, there, was, there was a kid, I think his dad was here earlier, um, and they were opening some, they, they bought and ripped some boxes, and he pulled a triple auto, um, all Hawks. It was, uh, I think, from Dominion Basketball. Center. It was Trey Young, uh, Kevin Huter, and Omari Spellman, which is pretty awesome. We took a picture of that. I sent it to Nick. I'm sure it'll be on the social media soon. Daniel with the Atlanta Hawks. Carl with the OKC Thunder. Eric with the Kings. Stephen Molina with the Bulls. Daniel with the Pacers. Bradley with the Hornets. Chris Lombardo with the Rockets. Daniel. Last spot mojo. Detroit Pistons. Charles with the Pelicans. Evan with the Jazz. Anthony with the Magic. Charles with the Knicks. Paul. You got my Lakers. Steven with the Mavs, Daniel with the Suns, Paul with the Warriors, Steven Molina with the Trailblazers. Clippers for David M, Daniel F with the Spurs, Paul with the Timberwolves, Daniel with the Celtics, Patrick with the Cavs, Paul, you got the Raptors, Jeff with the Nuggets, Peter with the Wizards, Evan with the Sixers, Jeff with the Bucks, Daniel with the Nets, Eric with the Grizz, and Daniel with the Miami Heat. All right, so let's sort these alphabetically. Now, feel free to trade. We're going to pause the video really quick. Because I need to still grab the boxes, and I'll allow for some trades. But as you are thinking about trades, consider the boxes that are involved here. Think about those rookie classes. Right, keep, keep those in mind as you trade. All right, I'm going to pause the video. Be right back. Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, there was a trade. A deal got done. So Chris Lombardo was wondering if anybody wanted the Rockets. Daniel said, sure. He'll take the Rockets for the Pacers. So Chris now has the Pacers. We'll put a T next to there for trade. So you you know you can if you're watching at home, you can see who draws first blood in that trade. And a T next to Daniel's name as well. So good luck to both of you. Good luck to everybody. And once again, at the end of the break, I'll randomize all these names uh, separately, and then we'll see who wins that four hundred dollar uh, triple double mixer spot featuring three cases of basketball. Which should be a lot of fun. Steve Molina, what's going on? I'm excited about that. All right, so we got a box of 1718 Donruss Optic Hobby. There's that one right there. Check. We got Chronicles right here. Check. Hoops. Zion Edition. Check. And Fast Break. 1819 Fast Break. Check. Nice, and good luck to everybody right here. Here's the official printout. We also have a one-box break of old status basketball. I think 16, 17 status basketball, 17, 18 status basketball. One-box random team break, and in that break, you can win up to three spots in that $400 basketball mixer. So that's a pretty good value there, too. All right, let's start with the oldest box first. 17, 18 should be our oldest box. Yes. We'll do 17, 18, a couple boxes of 18, 19, and we'll close out with the... Zion box right there. All right. Good luck, everyone. How are you? How's everybody feeling about the basketball season this year? What's your team? What's your basketball team? What uh, what are you looking forward to this season from your team? 
think only one game in progress right now. Yeah, only one game in progress right now. Uh, seven minutes left in the fourth. Heat are up 98-88 on the Cavs. Heat are 7-3. and three. Off to a 7-3 and three start to the season. Cavs, just a little under 500. Four, four and six. Paul's a Clippers guy. He says, go Clippers. Yeah, they're playing tonight. They're playing the Pelicans. Chris Lombardo, yeah, he's a Boston guy. Celtics are your team. Celtics-Lakers final? That'd be, that'd be a classic. That'd be a classic. I remember that one year when the Lakers, Kobe Lakers, lost to the Celtics. It was a heartbreaker. Then they won one the next year, and then they beat the Celtics again that a year after that. And that was a really satisfying win. But... Yeah, I'd like that old old rivalry to come back. That'd be great. Interesting. Oh, Paul George debuts tonight, but no Kawhi. Ooh, wait, wait till those two are together. That's going to be a scary team. They're already seven and four with no Paul George and load managed Kawhi. Sam's a Celtics fan from Tennessee. I'm a Lakers guy, of course, and uh, yeah, so far so good for the Lakers. They've been they've been looking pretty good. I think offensively, I, offensively, I think they're they're still trying to gel, still trying to figure out who like the role players are going to be, who's going to emerge as like a solid role player, six man, you know. Maybe Kyle Kuzma is already kind of in the rotation, but after Kuz, I think they're trying to figure that out. But defensively, that has, has immediately uh, been an improvement for the Lakers. Defensively, they've been looking great. There's Torn Prince to 99. Charles Bucks through thick and thin. I thought, I think the Bucks, are they playing tonight? Yeah, they're 7-3. They're, and three. they're They're hosting the Bulls tonight. I thought... I mean, they're still seven and three. I thought the the Bucks would do a little more in the off season. Yeah, you and me both, Daniel. I want I want Zion to come back soon too. Right. Supersonic stuffs goes to OKC. That's Sean Kemp to forty nine. That Torrent Prince went to Daniel and the Hawks. Paul saying they should have kept Brogdon. I, I thought they would too. I guess they, they they paid Middleton instead. I think there's Malik Monk rated rookie autograph for the Charlotte Hornets. Are they playing tonight? I don't know if the Charlotte Hornets are playing tonight. No, not tonight. Yeah, that's what Jeff is saying. Yeah, Buck spent big money to keep Middleton. And Charles is saying they should have let Middleton walk and then hold on to Brogdon. Ah, speaking of Malcolm Brogdon, there he is right here. Bucks edition to 199. Jason Tatum without Gordon Hayward should have more opportunities to increase his stock. There's Lime Green, Ryan Anderson for the Rockets to 175, and Draymond and the uh, the beat up Warriors down there. Tons of injuries for the Warriors. All right, set these aside here. Uh, now let's go into 1819. We've got two boxes of 1819, and then we'll close out with that hoop. So let's do this one first. What other games are happening tonight? We've got. Clippers, Pelicans, Bulls, Bucks, Mavs, Knicks. Hi, Bubba. Oh, do you smell food? That food, you have, you've got your food right there. Don't don't beg for food. Clippers, Pelicans tonight. I thought the Pelicans would have started off the season a little bit better. Maybe maybe with Zion though. Turn it around a little bit. Bulls at Bucks. Uh, Mavs are at Knicks. This will be Kristaps Porzingis' return to Madison Square Garden. 
We've got Hawks at Suns. That should be Trey Young versus Devin Booker. That should be exciting. Take the over on that. And then uh, the late game on TNT, Nets at Nuggets. That should be a pretty good game, too. Baba, that, that food that you smell is not for you. Paul says, no sympathy. Yeah, I don't have any sympathy for the Warriors. It's just that's how quickly the dynasty can end. I, I remember the you know, last couple of years, everyone's like, what do we do about, you know, the Warriors making a, building a super team and uh, you won't be able to stop them for 15 years and blah, 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 blah. It's like, listen, dyn dynasties don't last as long as people think. You know, you've got guys like Kobe and Shaq arguing with each other. You know, that broke up a dynasty. Kevin Durant walks, you know. Clay Thompson and Steph Curry get injured. And then now look at it. It, it, it can disappear really fast. I guess unless you're the Patriots, the <laughs> dynasty has lasted forever. But in basketball, it's tough. There's Kyrie, Celtics edition. Got that bubble refractor in the background. There's Kevin Huter, rated rookie. 11 out of, 17 out of 20. Pink velocity. No, pink bubbles, that is. Sorry, points. We'll randomize that to someone in the break. Eric Gordon. 8 out of 10 on that Eric Gordon. Nice low number there. For the Rockets, that's going to be for Daniel. Marvin Bagley, rookies. I don't need him to come back soon. Bless you. Nice Trey Young rated rookie for Daniel. 42 out of 85. After a little stumble with, I think, his a little ankle issue. It looks like he's back in action. He's dropped like 40 the other night. Not at all, Daniel. We have golf, but it's just in the shop. You can buy individual boxes through the store if you come visit here. But unfortunately, we don't have any available for group breaks. What? That... You can you can check it out, but there's no food there's no food out there for you. I'm just gonna be forlorn. All right, so we'll randomize the points to someone here. Movie and TV cards. I think that often happens with uh, maybe like Leaf Pop Century stuff is where you can take advantage of that. Tennis cards. I don't know if we tennis cards are available at the moment. I know Leaf a couple years ago did a cool tennis product, a tennis only product, but I'm not sure how much of that is available nowadays. They don't release those too regularly, which actually makes the value of those cards pretty, pretty good. Whenever they come out, especially like Roger Federer, Williams Sisters, etc. Next one, we got Kevin Knox to 149. And we got Zana Musa to 249. There's Trey Young, rookie card. Obviously, all those rookies will ship. Elio Kobu to 99. Javon Carter, welcome back Carter. 53 out of 75 for the Grizz. That will be for Erickson Sala with the Grizzlies. There's Wendell Carter Jr. 
to 49. Trey Young. Oh, that was a troll job right there. I thought that card was going to be an autograph to 99. You got Mo Bamba, 14 out of 99. Colin Sexton to 149. Is there only one autograph in this, I guess? I don't remember. Miles Bridges, Hornets edition to 249. Those Miles um, Bridges, I want to say, actually does uh, decently on a secondary market. There's a second autograph, Tyus Jones for the Timberwolves. That's for Paul. Um, because uh, I think his he's exclusive. His autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck. So there's a little bit of a uh, Ben Simmons factor there. Hey, down. Don't scratch the door. That was Michael Porter Jr. back there. All right. Last one. Ooh, Carl saying Giannis hit a transition three. That's the part of the game that he needs to sort of evolve, right? If he can be dangerous from... Uh... Tony's here, Sonic's fan, he says. We need to put basketball back in Seattle. You want to take the Clippers, rebrand them the Sonics, and then get all the records back from OKC? If Giannis can develop a credible outside shot, you know, that is going to make him just extremely dangerous. I mean, even more dangerous. He's already dangerous. You know what I mean? Now imagine if you can't if you can, I mean, if he can, it's obvious, right? If he can get a credible outside shot, I mean, he's a decent outside, but it, he's an outside threat. You can't, can't give him any space. He can blow right by you or take that shot. Man. If you try to guard him at the perimeter, you know, he can drive right by you. If you give him space, he can hit that shot. I mean, I was saying earlier, I, I was surprised the Bucks didn't do, weren't, were, more active, even more active in the off season, but I guess if Giannis takes it to a next level, they may they may not have to. Oh, free throw is an issue, maybe. Yeah, why is free throw shooting so bad in in basketball? I feel like the Lakers have had some trouble with free throw shooting. Like LeBron had a weird free throw shooting night the other night. Last box, and then we're going to give away that spot. Good luck, everyone. This is 2019-20 hoops. Jordan Poole might get some more opportunities, too, with Steph Curry out. And there's Bruno Fernando, Rookie Inc. for the Atlanta Hawks. Daniel with the Hawks. There's a Bogdanovich. Bogdan Bogdanovich to 99. I also want to keep an eye out for his Zion cards, too. I really like these city cards. I mean, might want to buy some hoot, hoops boxes, tries to save those. There's Nikola Jokic to 2019. There's Zion right there. That goes to the Pels. That'll be for Charles. I wonder if that might cover like half the spot. <laughs> Just this little base card right here. There you go. Charles is also saying he thinks the result of Giannis tweaking his shot a little bit, but he's working with Kyle Korver, and that could be the key for Zion, or Zion for uh, Giannis to rebuild that outside shot. 
If he does, it's, uh, he's, he's pretty much unstoppable. He's like, I was lower here. Pretty much unstoppable. There's Biombo to 199. There you go. Nice uh, courtside shot right here. Speaking of Mr. Ante de Compo. But yeah, if you put one light, basically you do yeah. One High voltage there. Jimmy Butler. Going this way. And then one light here going this way. Yeah. And then CJ McCollum to 2019, yeah, road to the yeah, finals. Yeah, no. No, he doesn't have to be a lights out shooter. That's the thing. He just have to has to be just good enough. You know. But maybe still take like you know, a handful of threes a night, maybe a little bit more than that, but just do well enough to keep him to keep defenses honest and then then unstoppable. There's Raja Bell, Jazz edition. Remember Raja Bell? Evan. Yeah, Raja Bell. Jazz edition, though. <laughs> Raja Ding. There you go. That'll go to Evan and the Utah Jazz. There's Andrew Wiggins. There's Kawhi Leonard to Campbell Walker and Miles Bridges, Joel Embiid, Wiggins, Bogdanovich, and Mitchell Robinson at the end. So there you go, folks. Um, I'm also going to make an executive decision, and for the randomizer, when we give away that mixer spot, the second name will get the constellation prize of 150 points. So let's go back to the list. Let's grab everyone's names from Daniel down to Peter and everyone in between. And we're just giving away one spot, right? Yeah, one spot in that triple-double mixer, which is a pretty incredible mixer. Check it out, Jaspi's Case Breaks. Now, there's a local man bounty, too. All right, so there's everyone's names here. Let's roll it and randomize it seven times. Two and a five, seven times. One, two... Three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, spot two, Daniel with the consolation, 150 points. And the mixer spot, Anthony. There you go. So congrats to Anthony. You have won a $400 mixer spot. That's pretty good. That should be a fun mixer too. So thanks. Oh, congrats, Andy. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you for the next break. Bye-bye.